Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day today. So today's video is going to be all about my favorite thrifted items in my spring wardrobe. So you guys know that I love shopping secondhand and most of my wardrobe at this point is thrifted or secondhand. I get some of it online from places like Thread Up or eBay, but I have some different pieces here to talk about today that I just really love that I'm wearing a lot this spring and it's a mixture of clothing and accessories. I've noticed that a lot of these pieces are really neutral pieces, which is interesting to me because if you guys follow my channel, you know I wear a lot of colorful prints and patterns and things like that. So it's interesting to me to see so many neutral pieces that have stood out as the things I get a lot of use out of. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in and show you guys these pieces that I've been wearing a lot. I hope this gives you some inspiration if you're looking to do a little bit if thrift shopping or secondhand shopping this spring, maybe it will help you make your shopping list. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So let's start out with a couple of tops. This first one I absolutely love. I got this from a thrift store last summer and it's a really floaty, gauzy type of blouse. It has a button front and then a kind of peplum detail with the drawstring. I know it's coming up really bright on camera right now, but I'll be sure to include a cutaway. And it's button front, it has two pockets on the front and then slightly poofy sleeves. I love this because it's really lightweight, it's very comfortable to wear, and it has kind of that vintage Edwardian type of look to it. And I just think it's really, really pretty. It's a simple piece, but a little bit more of a feminine take on the classic button up white shirt. So I really like like this one. I think it pairs perfectly with jeans or with skirts, different things like that. The brand is Ann Taylor Loft on this one. I've actually seen it a few times at Goodwill, so it might be one that you can actually find. But I think it's just a super cute piece and a great basic for the spring. I like that it is a long sleeve top, but it's very light and easy to wear, breezy, and perfect for the warmer weather. Of course, it would not be one of my videos if I didn't mention something striped. So this is my favorite striped t-shirt right now, which is from Thread Up, and I really love this style. I actually had this shirt years ago that I had purchased from Anthropology. So that one eventually got some holes in it and I passed it on, but I found the same style on Thread Up. The brand is Puella and they make really cool um, tunic type of tops, which I really like. So this is a really comfortable stripey t-shirt and it is looking a little bit worse for wear at this point, a little bit pilled, but I really love it. I still wear it a lot. Another piece from Thread Up that I've gotten tons of use out of over the years is this denim jacket. Again, this is by the brand Ann Taylor Loft originally and I love this jacket so much. It was one of the first things I ever purchased on Thread Up, if not the first thing, because denim jackets are quite expensive and I wanted to find a really cute one that fit me well but was not expensive. And so I went with Thread Up and I've been so happy with it. It's gotten a lot softer with age and it's got a little bit distressed, you could say, but I still think it's really cute. And I love a denim jacket in the spring to pair with my dresses. I think it really makes them a little bit more casual and just comfortable and everyday appropriate in the spring. I wore this recently with my little Gal Meets Glam floral dress that I showed in my most recent video and it looked super cute. So I love this one for just throwing on over a dress on a day-to-day -day basis and it's a perfect little piece of outerwear for the spring. I have one dress I wanted to show you guys today. This is a recent addition to my wardrobe, again from Thread Up, and I love this. It's so cute. It is a white button front dress. It's got tortoiseshell buttons and then a waist tie. The skirt is about knee length and it's got some cute pleating detail. And then my favorite part of the dress is the sleeve tie detail, which I just think is so cute. It's kind of like a shirt dress, but a little bit more fun. And I think a white dress in the spring and summer looks so pretty. It's kind of like the alternative to the little black dress for the season and I really enjoy wearing them. So I have another one in my wardrobe as well, but this one is a newer one to me and I'm really excited to get to start wearing it. I think this would look super cute with my denim jacket and a basket bag and a pair of sandals or mules or something like that. So it's a great piece to have in my spring wardrobe. So if you're looking for a good basic dress for the spring and summer, I would really recommend trying out a white one. And then I also have a couple of skirts and a pair of trousers. So let's start with the trousers. I got these pretty recently from the thrift store and I love them because they are like daytime pajamas. They're so cute and so comfortable. They are drawstring tie-waisted polka dotted trousers with side pockets. They're a slim fit and just really classic. They're made out of a rayon material, super comfy, super easy to wear. So I love these and I've definitely gotten some good use out of them this spring. They are just so comfortable. Like I said, it's like wearing your pajamas in the daytime. I love a good pair of rayon trousers and the polka dots just make this one even more fun. And then another rayon patterned piece is this midi skirt, which I've shown a lot before and this is just one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. It's from the 90s. It's a button front skirt with a little daisy print. It's got 
pockets and then this cute polka dotted detail at the waistband. I love how whimsical this skirt is. I just think it's super cute and really a nice nod to the 90s. So I really enjoy wearing this one and it's just perfect for the spring and summer weather. It's got a little bit of leg slit detail which makes it nice for when it's a bit hotter and I just really enjoy wearing it. It's one of my favorite pieces and it looks really nice with that kind of blousy shirt that I showed earlier. And then this last skirt is a really simple piece. This is originally from Club Monaco but I got it at the thrift store and it's really comfortable and a great basic. It's got elasticated waistband and then it also has side pockets. It's a linen type of material and it's a midi length. I just find it a really versatile piece in the spring and summer and I really enjoy the fit of it and how comfortable it is and I love anything kind of linen type of look for the spring and summer. And this is really easy to pair with different tops in the spring and summer so it's a great basic. And then just a couple of favorite accessories that you guys are probably tired of hearing about because I know I've talked about these before. The first one is this gorgeous little silk scarf that is originally from Laura Ashley but I got it on thread up. It's a vintage piece and I just love the print and colors on this. It is so my style with this floral type of pattern and the pink and green to my favorite colors. So I love how this one looks with my wardrobe. It just pairs so nicely with a lot of different things. So if you're looking for a silk scarf for your wardrobe, I would really recommend looking at the colors that you wear and finding something that would go along with that. Right now this is the only silk scarf in my wardrobe and I find that it goes with so many different outfits because the colors are really harmonious with what I like to wear. And it is a great little accessory for the spring. I love the light colors with my wardrobe this time of year. And the floral print, of course, is appropriate for the season. So if you're looking for silk scarves, ThreadUp is a great place to check, as well as eBay and Etsy. I don't usually have good luck with them at my local thrift store, but I like to get them online. And then, of course, I couldn't make this video without talking about my basket bags. I have recently gotten so much use out of this new one, this little vintage one that I got on eBay. I am obsessed with the look of this one. I just think it's just so cute. I love the oval shape and it's just easy to pair with different looks. And then I also have this old favorite, which I got a couple of years ago at a local thrift store. It was like a dollar, it was super cheap. And I just love carrying this one this time of year. It's a great, more versatile bag because it's very roomy with this tote shape. So I carry this one a lot and it goes with different looks. And I like to have the two different colors of straw, the darker and lighter, just because it makes different looks with different outfits. So I definitely love having basket bags in my wardrobe for the warmer weather. And if you're looking for one, I would always start at the thrift store because they can be really cheap if you can find a good one. All right, guys, so those are my favorite thrifted and secondhand pieces in my spring wardrobe right now. I hope you enjoyed seeing what they were. I love just going back through and seeing how many things I've been able to add to my wardrobe secondhand and how versatile those pieces are and how much I wear them. It's always fun to just reflect back over that and see what good use I get out of secondhand pieces. I love seeing things get a new lease on life like that. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. You can do that by pushing the subscribe button down below and also click the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I post in the future. And then if you'd like to keep up with me outside of YouTube, I am on Instagram. My username over there is at just Lauren Johnson. And I would love to keep up with you over there. I post every single day so you'll get a lot of content on Instagram and I would love to see you over on that platform but with that thank you guys so much for watching I am going to leave it here and I will talk to you in the next one bye